This AI tool is one of the most powerful image editing tools I've seen. It's called Rectified Flow Inversion or RF Inversion and it was recently released by Google. The best part, it's free and open source. Let's take a look at how it works. So, with this RF inversion tool, you can take any reference image and prompt it with anything, like a girl, and it would change the reference image into a girl. Or if you prompt it with a panda, it would turn into a panda. It copies the style of your reference image and then changes it based on your prompt. Here's another example. The reference image this time is a golden flower. If you prompt it with face of a boy, this is what you get. If you prompt it with a dwarf, here's what you get. Here's another example. The reference image is a cat. If you prompt it with a sleeping cat, it preserves the details of the original image but only changes the face to look like it's sleeping. Or here's a silver cat sculpture or an origami cat. And in these cases, it changes just the cat while preserving the overall pose. You can also see examples with a lion or a tiger. There's no need for in-painting or control net. In another example, here's the original image. If you prompt it with smiling cartoon, it not only turns him into a cartoon but makes him smile. Or if you prompt it with angry cartoon, it creates an angry cartoon version. If you prompt it with girl, it changes him into a girl but keeps the details of the original image intact. You can also prompt it with old man and here's what you get. Or young boy plus glasses. Here's another example. You start with a golden flower and if you prompt it with something else like a butterfly, it generates a butterfly while preserving the texture and look of the original flower. It works similarly with prompts like baby penguin, a boat, a piano, a robot, an F1 car, or a dragon. The look and feel of the original image are preserved. It also allows for semantic editing, which means you can edit photos by simply prompting a change. For example, here's a photo from Kill Bill. If you prompt it with anime, it turns the entire scene into anime while preserving the original photo's details. If you prompt it with 3D pixel animation, this is what you get. If you prompt it with man, it turns her into a man while keeping everything else consistent. Again, there's no need for in-painting or control net, it understands what to edit based on your prompt. Here's another example. On the left is the original image, and in the middle are results from other methods that are inferior to Google's RF inversion. The rightmost column shows Google's method where the prompt is wearing glasses. You can see that it overlays a pair of glasses while keeping everything else intact. It's a quick and intuitive way to edit images without manually painting over them or adding masks. You can also change things like gender. If the original photo is of a man and you prompt it with woman, it changes him into her. Conversely, if the original photo is of a woman and you prompt it with man, it changes her into a man. You can also change age. For example, if the original photo is of a woman and you prompt it with old, here's what you get. If you prompt it with older, here's the result. Similarly, if you prompt it with young, you get a younger version, and if you prompt it with younger, the transformation is even more pronounced. You can even change toppings on a pizza. If the original photo is of a cheese pizza, you can prompt it with pepperoni, and it adds pepperoni. If you prompt it with mushroom, it adds mushrooms. If you prompt it with green leaves, it adds some green leaves. And if you prompt it with Lego style, it turns the pizza into a plastic Lego pizza. All these edits are done just by prompting, without the need for in-painting or control net. You can also mix the styles of multiple images together. For example, if you combine two input images, the result is a bird dressed in a cowboy outfit in the desert. It's a super powerful tool and I really like the semantic editing ability where you can edit an image just by prompting it. There's no need for in-painting, control net or other manual adjustments. This is a much more intuitive approach. RF Inversion has just released a comfy UI node so you can start using it. A link to the GitHub page and their main page with examples will be given in the video's description. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to stay updated on the latest AI tools and insights, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.